Hello everybody, it's Victor here with Cardiac Wire, and today I'm joined by Mani and Paul from Philips to talk a little bit about the work they're doing in CT here at SCCT25. With that, gentlemen, why don't you introduce yourselves? Thanks, Victor. Hi everyone, my name is Mani Vembar. I'm with uh, Philips CT Clinical Science. My name is Paul Pfeiffer. I'm the National Sales Leader for the U.S. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, gentlemen. And so with that, why don't you tell me a little bit about the work you guys are doing at Philips? Yeah, so I'm, I'm a part of clinical science focusing on cardiology, being, having, you know, been coming to SCCT for many, many years since we're all here as part of the cardiac CT community. Uh, just want to say that cardiac CT has come a long way over the last 25 years, been involved with it from four slice onwards, tremendous uh, strides. You know, over the years, we have addressed many, many challenges. You know, for example, reducing high negative predictive value, reducing the number of patients who get sent to the cath lab, number one, low radiation dose, and also being able to accommodate many, many um, um, challenging cohorts, right? But conventional CT still has challenges. You know, we have challenge, advanced challenges such as calcium blooming in coronary arteries, patients with impaired kidney function, uh, patients uh, who have, you know, for scar imaging where MR is the is the gold standard. Patients with CTO, right, can CT help um, predict the success or failure of PCI? What if you have multivessel disease, you know? Can we provide some information to the cardiologist to decide which lesion to treat first, right? And also in um, instant restenosis. So I've already mentioned uh, at least six of these advanced challenges, and this is where spectral CT comes into play. And over the years, you know, and spectral CT has a very successful track record when it comes to publications. Since 2015, we have had over 800 peer-reviewed publications, out of which about 15% are in the field of cardiovascular. And a lot of them have, you know, shown, you know, among all the clinical indications that I've talked about, a lot of clinical publications, peer-reviewed, have been published in you know, your traditional journals. And we already have a very successful track record. As it relates to our spectral CT, uh, we have over 700 systems deployed globally you know, that have been delivered. Uh, that's been exciting. Uh, also, as it relates to spectral, uh, we not received not just one, but two red dot awards on uh, outstanding design quality and innovation around the 7500 spectral, and also our latest technology, the 5300, which is our performance class CT. Well, Mani, uh, Paul just now mentioned about the Red Dot Award. Aside from that, what differentiates you guys from your competition? Yeah, so specifically when it comes to spectral, you know, you have a couple approaches. One is a source base, the other one is detector base. Philips has taken the detector-based approach because it, fall, it allows or it results in many workflow advantages. For example, you don't have to take an a priori decision to, to figure out whether to scan in a conventional mode or a spectral mode because the spectral is always on. Unlike in the, con, uh, in the source-based approaches where a technologist, a user, radiographer, has to decide which way to scan, which mode to scan in without really knowing what may be problematic with the patient. So once you take a certain path, you're stuck with it. So one of the biggest uh, advantages the detector-based uh, approach offers is that you don't have to take an a priori decision. So that's one of the uh, differentiating factors. And one of the other recent innovations that we have is what we call the precise umbrella, you know, all the way Throughout the imaging chain, you know, we have AI-enabled approaches starting from scan planning, and but more uh, specific to cardiovascular, we have what is known as precise cardiac, which is a coronary motion correction. Studies have shown, you know, a most recent study came in European radiology. It was a collaborative effort between the University of Utrecht and the Mayo Clinic, where we showed that in, in the vicinity of uh, the quiescent phases where the, um, the velocities are high, the precise cardiac can actually reduce the motion artifacts by a factor of 11. So effectively, we are improving the effective temporal resolution. 
Wonderful. And Paul, do you have anything to add about what differentiates Philips? Well, as it speaks to spectral, uh, the workflow uh, is seamless you know, for the physician. It's not a science experiment. You know, these cases are already developed, the hanging protocols it comes to, into their environment exactly uh, to where they can u utilize the data seamlessly. Um, as we look at our performance-based technology, uh, the 5300, Manny talked about the uh, precise suite of technologies. I would like to highlight precise image, which is our AI dose reduction technology. Married together with the heart of the NECT scanner is its detector. So we're the first to the market with a nano panel detector. Uh, and combined with the AI dose reduction technologies, you're going to see a noise reduction of approximately 85%. You're going to see low contrast detectability improved by 60%, and you're going to see uh, an overall uh, uh, dose reduction to the patient of 80% as well. So that's been very exciting. The second piece that I'd like to highlight is uh, our Tubes for Life program. This is the industry first. Uh, every CT, one of the, the weak points of it is it's tubed. They always fail at some point over the life of the, life of the scanner and we have a tube for life program to where that tube is guaranteed for 10 years. Well, gentlemen, it sounds like Philips is doing a lot of exciting work in the realm of CT. We're looking forward to seeing even more from you guys later this year. Thank you so much for your time. I've been Victor, and this is Cardiac Wire. Thank you, Victor.